It's confirmed the Singapore terminus for the high-speed rail link with Kuala Lumpur will be in Jurong East. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong announced this today after a leader's retreat with his Malaysian counterpart Najib Razak. They also said that the initial target date of 2020 to complete the project needs to be reassessed because of its scale and complexity. The rail link has been described as a game-changer by both sides. Imam Saad reports. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said both sides had a good series of meetings. Bilateral ties are good and Singapore and Malaysia are working well together. The flagship project now is the construction of a high-speed rail that will cut travel time between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore to just 90 minutes. This is a game changer. Uh, you can go up to KL in a day, have lunch and return to Singapore. Or you come down to Singapore for a day, do business because our hawker food not quite so good. And go back to KL again. Singapore had initially shortlisted three locations to site its terminus, Tuas West, Jurong East and the city centre. Mr Lee said Tuas is too far off and not the centre of activity and business. The city centre may be ideal but too built up, so cost and engineering challenges will be an issue. Jurong East was chosen as it dovetails into Singapore's overall plans to transform the area into a second central business district. In Jurong East, you have business, you have population, you have a regional centre which is already developing and this will add to the regional centre because it will make it a very attractive place and people can come in and you, you are there at a place which you want to be. And if you want to be somewhere else in, than Jurong, than Jurong East, well, Jurong East is going to be connected to the rest of Singapore with three, four MRT lines in the long term. So you can get onto an MRT line, you can be anywhere else you want, including Changi Airport, within half an hour. Malaysia has already identified a coastal alignment from Kuala Lumpur, linking Seremban, Malacca, Mua, Batu Pahat and Nusa Jaya, with a final stop in Singapore. The target for completion, initially set at 2020, will now be pushed back because of the scale and complexities involved. I uh, concur with what uh, Prime Minister Lee said. Um, our original deadline, as you mentioned, was uh, 2020. Uh, but uh, realistically speaking, this project uh, is a very complex project. Uh, there are many dimensions to it. It has to be studied very, very carefully, but expeditiously. Uh, there are many engineering details which need to be worked out. How is the line going to be uh, uh, designed? There are many operational details which need to be worked out. Who is going to operate the company? How the company is going to be structured? Uh, well, is it one company, multiple companies? Is it one side, two sides? Uh, there's also the financial issues which have been, to be stopped, worked out, which means where is the funding going to come from? Debt, equity, government? The leaders said they are fully committed to the success of the project. We are working hard at it. Uh, papers have to be written and uh, consensus reached after considering all the relevant factors to make sure that the project runs well. So I don't see them as insoluble problems. We are, we're getting there. We just need a bit more time to work everything out. Now, both leaders did not give a definitive timeline as to when the high-speed rail project will take off. But Mr. Najib did say that construction will take five years, the design another one year, and the tender process yet another year. Now, the leaders will come to an agreement by the end of the year and come up with a new target for when the trains will start running. Hopefully, when our two governments can agree on the bilateral arrangements, uh, as mentioned by Prime Minister Lee, and if Singapore builds uh, their side and we build our side, hopefully the two lines will meet at some point. <laughs> <laughs> at the same point. At the same point. <laughs> then we will get our high speed rail. <laughs> Singapore Malaysia relations are deep and multifaceted. At the retreat, the leaders also touched on how both sides are working to reduce congestion at the two land checkpoints. Singapore is automating all motorcycle counters at the Woodlands and Tuas checkpoints by 2016, while Malaysia is studying the introduction of RFID stickers in passports for Malaysian motorcyclists to allow for faster clearance at the causeway. Other issues discussed include cooperation on water, with both sides reaffirming the importance of the completion of the Johor River Barrage to ensure reliable water supply from the Johor River as provided under the 1962 Water Agreement.